Hello boys and girls. Today we will continue with kinder grammar. Grammar today will be on sentence, on a sentence. We are going to study the subject. Boys and girls, have you ever heard the, heard the word subject? What do you think it means? Good. I want you to think about subjects and I want you to see if we can find the subjects of pictures. So if we are looking for the subject of a picture, what are you looking for? Are we looking for the background of the picture? Are we looking for the picture with the and who the picture is about? Okay, let's look at our first picture and try to find the subject. Here we go. Who do we think, what do we think is the subject in this picture? Okay, good. Good, very good. So I'm looking at the picture and I can see a little boy and he is making sandcastles. But I don't think the sandcastles are the subject, do you? Do you think the picture is about a little boy? Yes, that's right. The little boy is the subject because this picture is about who? Good job, the little boy. So when we think of the word subject, we think about what what the sentence is about or what the picture is about. So when we are looking at this picture, we think of the word subject. Let's think about what this picture is about. Who is this picture about? That's right, the little boy. So we're gonna keep going and we're gonna look at other pictures and see if we know who the subject is. I'm gonna show you pictures and you guys are gonna help me find the subject. Here we go. The next one shows. Good. A little boy kicking a ball. Is the ball a subject? No. Okay. What is this picture about? Soccer. Okay. What else? Good. It's about a little boy kicking the ball. Good. So who? what is this subject in this picture? The boy. Good job, because the picture is about the little boy. Good job. All right, here we go. All right, what do we have here? Can you guys see that one so low? Good. Okay, what do we have here? Good, we have a birthday party. Whose birthday party? Good, the little boy. So this picture is about the little boy's birthday party. Good, so who's the subject in this picture? The little boy, good job. Mm -hmm. Next we have a little girl in this picture over here. And it looks like she is in a, a bathing suit and she's in her pool and there's water all around. So she probably went swimming in her pool. All right, what is this picture about? Good, a little girl. So the little girl is the subject. Very good, boys and girls. Now, let's continue. Okay, what is the little girl doing? Good, it looks like she is doing what? Lifting her leg, maybe she's Good, walking. So what is this picture about? Good, the little girl who is doing what? Walking, very good. So the subject is the girl, good job. Last picture I have. Good, she's riding a bike. What is the little girl doing? Yes, and who is this picture about? A little girl. Good job, boys and girls. Very good. So I want you guys to um, work on doing subjects today, boys and girls. So now that we were able to find the subjects in the pictures, I want you guys to tell me um, what does it mean if someone is a subject? Good. Yes, it means that something is about them. Well, today, will be even better detectives because we get to find the subject in stories. <gasps> Everyone grab your microscope out. Ready? Look for the clues to help us find the subject.
subject. Look, make sure you look very close. Good. So we are going to be detectives and we're going to find the subjects in a story. Now, this takes some extra talent because some very talented detectives because can we do it? I think so. That means we're super talented. Listen to my first story. And if you think you know what the subject is, you can put your hand over your mouth like this. <gasps> Gasp and cover your mouth. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Okay, now listen, detectives. Here we go. It was a bright, sunny day. The birds were chirping and the flowers were blooming. Julie wanted to go for a walk. She and her dog, Buster, took him for a walk. Julie was so Julie had so much fun on her walk with Buster. All right. Now you guys heard my story. All right. Yes, it was about Okay, good. I have some ideas. Okay, now I want you to turn and tell your partner who do you think the subject is. So find an elbow partner. It could be your mom, your dad. I'm going to tell Blake because he's right next to me. Hey, partner, who do you think the subject was in my story? Hmm, I don't know. I think it was Julie because I think the story is about Julie going on a walk. Yeah, good job. Okay, my partner says I might be right. Let's see if you guys think the same thing. Here we go. Did you guys tell your partner what you guys think is the right answer? Good! Julie is a subject of our story because the story is about her. Let's keep going, amazing detectives. Here we go. Jim went to the store to buy a new toy. He was looking at a cool truck when Sally walked by. Jim waved and took the truck to his mom. Jim's mom let him... Ooh, Jim's mom let him get the toy. And Jim was so happy. Now, boys and girls, who is this story about? Good, Jim and his toy, right? So who do you think this subject is? Good, Jim. Jim is the subject. Awesome job. So now that we have learned what the subject is and how to find it, we're going to see if we can find it all or not. Oh, what I want you guys to do is find the subject in your own stories. Just like Miss D read your stories. I want to see if you guys can do it all on your own. So what you guys will do is you have a story right here. Oh, sorry. There's two here. It's only supposed to be one story, okay? one story. You guys will have one story here. On the story, you guys will circle the subject, highlight the subject any way you want to do it. So if you want to just um, highlight it, you can go like that, or you can actually circle it, or you can highlight it like that. Okay? Any way you want to do it, oops, any way you want to do it is fine. Um, make sure that when you guys are done, you guys illustrate your subject, okay? So when you illustrate, what does that mean? Good, you will draw, you will draw your subject right in this box, the empty box right here, okay? I want you guys to make sure that when you guys are doing this, that you guys make sure you find that subject and you circle every single time that you hear the subject from that story, okay? So if it's more than one time, I want more than one highlight, okay? All right, boys and girls, when you guys are done, because we didn't get to do this um, earlier, I want you guys to color the subject of each picture on this one. We were supposed to do this on Monday. So if you already did it, great. If you have not done it, it's okay. We can do it today. I just want you to color only the subject. What should you color? Should you color the whole thing? No. Don't color the whole picture. I only want you to color the subject of the picture. So let's look at the pictures and see what's going on. Here we go. Here we have a little girl, and it looks like she's doing what? Gardening. Good job. Now, what is the subject of the story? Who is this picture about? Good, the little girl. So who should be colored? Only the little girl. Should I color the pots in the garden? No, just the little girl, because it's about her. Now, I want you guys to look at this picture, and at home, I want you to color the subject. What is this story about? What is the picture about? And I want you guys to color only the subject. 
All right, boys and girls, have fun learning about the subject, and I will see you on Hangout.